I'd like to call the meeting on Friday, August 21st, 2015 to order. Uh, first order of business is to approve the minutes from July 27, 2015 regular meeting and bills and payroll through August the 20th, 2015. Is there a motion? So made. Second. So motion is made and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Renovation report, Mr. Rowland. Uh, we have a, uh, a request for a reimbursement uh, for some blueprint fees. $1,135. Uh, I would recommend you pay that. Is there a motion to do so? So moved. Mm -hmm. Is there a second? I'll second. Thank you. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> motion carries. Facilities plan update. Uh, elect board member representative for the uh, local planning committee. Uh, open the floor for nominations for that. Um, I nominate Chairman Boffitz. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, item 4B, Mr. Sayer. Uh, again, as part of our local planning committee, we have to have our architect on board to do that. We need a board motion showing that uh, we're in agreement of having our architect and let him start the process and the background of data and things. We need to get those things done. That's one of the things that need to be done before we really get into the, uh, the meeting bonds and have a meeting and things of the, of the community. Mm -hmm. Especially group, perfect great framework, and Chuck Grimble as our architect to do that. Okay. Motion made. Second. Motion made to second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Uh, any opposed? Motion carries. Item 5A, Mr. Rowland. Uh, the first one is uh, the masonry bid. It was a uh, one was tabled last month, and that was a uh, it was cleaning of the masonry before we start construction, and we're getting uh, we hope we're getting real close to starting. Uh, it was around 15 six something there, and I would recommend that we go ahead and get it done before they start. Motion to do so. Second. Second motion. Motion remains second. All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 5B, Mr. Rowland. Uh, we had a, a architect payment uh, last month that was tabled. Uh, we had some questions, uh, and we uh, and you guys decided to table that uh, payment, and uh, I would give you all the same option this time on how you want to handle that. Again, Probably sometime in the middle of September here. Yes. We'll probably have a special board meeting to approve that and things. So if you want to kill two birds, one stone, approve all approve the updates and things to that and have Joe Nance in here and approve all those things. Approve that at once or you approve it this time, whichever one's at your own discretion. We might be able to give you more detail we'll being being here, uh, an update what's happened with all that at that point in time. Just take you table it. Kind of over, I'm late, I yeah, second. Motion. second. All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, 6A, Mr. Burchett. Uh, you got in my way uh, before you with Board of State University. It's for uh, student teaching uh, placement and practical uh, placements, and uh, uh, we suggest that you were this. Thank you. Is there a motion to do so? Okay. All in favor say aye. Second. Sorry. All in favor say aye. Motion carries. Uh, 6B, Mr. Sayer. Ms. Patton and I met with Big Sandy Healthcare last week. Our Family Resource Center directors has been a program that we feel has been very beneficial to our students here at Johnson County Schools and looking at kind of preventive dental care. And uh, our numbers, by what parents have turned back notes and things in, it looks to be even a bigger program for our kids and things this year again. I would ask you to approve this for the benefit of our students here in Johnson County Schools. So moved. Second. <coughs> Motion is made to second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Yeah. Any opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> 6C, Mr. Halsey. Uh, we've got a number of student trips. We're trying to be proactive and get all those trips on there. Uh, quickly, the academic team on August the 28th uh, to Glasgow, that's a tournament. That's a Friday. That would be a one-night overnight. 
on September the 18th to the Ezel Harding Tournament for the academic team. Again, that's a Friday. They would return Saturday evening. That would be a one night overnight. Uh, our FFA group has requested to go to Pigeon Forge over the fall break. That would be financed through the extra crop they put out to sell their corn and greenhouse plants. Uh, softball has requested to go to Myrtle Beach over spring break, the April the 4th through the 8th. That would be booster funded and finance dependent on that, that they raise the funds and those kind of things. Also softball for April 15th and 16th, that's a Friday one night overnight for a scheduled tournament at North Laurel. Baseball has requested to go to Bureau Beach April the 3rd through the 8th on spring break. Again, booster funded, dependent upon them having raised finances. Uh, Baseball has requested two overnight trips, which are regular season doubleheader games in Lexington on April the 15th and May the 13th. Those would be an overnight on a Friday night so they could play again Saturday in those tournaments. And then on uh, September the 19th, the band is going to Campbell Midland for a band competition, not overnight, simply out of state. And I'll be glad to answer any questions about individual trips. Thank you. Is there a motion to approve the convention? Uh, Mr. Halsey, yes. which, which of these trips are, are not uh, self-funded? Are not self-funded. The academic team by self-funded, I mean external boosters or something of that nature. Or these are high school funded. Uh, the academic team trips are high school funded. Uh, the vocational program CTE is going to pick up a portion of the expense on the FFA trip, and the high school will pay for the band trip because it's a scheduled competition. They have an eight-week window to complete their <coughs> competitions. I'm sorry. Motion made. Second. So moved. Motion's made and second. Any further discussion? If not, we'll call for a vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item 6D, approve use of There were some uh, middle school trips on that as well. Okay. There, is uh, Joey, Joey not here? I am. Okay. <laughs> I need to see you later. <laughs> uh, we just had some academic trips that we included. One was EZL Harding uh, along with high school, September the uh, 18th. Um, the other is in December, Edmondson County, which is overnight, and then um, Danville Baked in January, the, um, which is also overnight. Three overnight trips for academic team. And some of those that do kind of team up with the high school will take one bus and right? cost the same. For example, EZL Harding. Yeah, first of all, this first Motion is made. Is there a second? Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Mm -hmm. Motion carries. Approved community use of facilities. <coughs> Sean Castle and Mr. Halsey. Sean had something that, that began. These are the general ones we've done for a number of years in the past. Bandy reunion out at Highland Elementary, Men and I Church at Highland Elementary, as well as the Wells family reunion. Yeah, the high school probably been on for 20 years over there, so. Motion made, Mr. Chairman. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item 6D, uh, Mr. Young. Uh, yeah, we're asking to uh, apply for a grant, the uh, Lowe's Toolbox for Education. Uh, we want to apply for that grant. Thank you. Is there a motion to do so? Motion to do so. Second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Uh, Any opposed? Motion carries. Item uh, 6F, Brenton Dials. I'm just requesting uh, two school-wide fundraisers. Uh, they'll both be completed through our PTA. Uh, the first is just a reading for education fundraiser. Uh, the second is the book fair that we've done for years. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Uh, Any opposed? Motion carries. Item uh, 6G, Mr. Sayer. We're just giving you the list of all <coughs> the things we have with fall with, and some of them you know, on in the spring with academics and soccer and volleyball and football and chase each sports schedules, you know, all those items and things. And, you know, we spoke about a lot of them about the dates and overnights earlier. Thank you. Is there a motion to do so? 
second. Motion's made to second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item 6H, Mr. Sayer. Again, we'd like to ask your permission to go ahead and put our hearing announcements and things in the paper concerning our tax rates for this coming year. Then we would come back in September after it's run for two weeks. We'd probably kill two birds one stone here with our renovation construction and, and our tax name be approved at that time. So, so many. No, any action needed? Not until really. the next meeting. Not until next meeting. Not until it's run the paper to be approved. So, okay. Just want to make you all aware of it. Then uh, we've got the superintendent's personnel report as well. And I think that covers everything for the agenda today. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Motion is made. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Uh, We're adjourned. Thank you.